we supposed to cross this road, guys? It's all crossing together. Oh, oh gosh, Mickey, I don't know. Maybe some of the new characters could try crossing. Yeah, guys, I'll give it a try. Where did she go? I don't think she's coming back. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Maybe we should let the pirate cross. Oh, sounds like a great idea, Donald, with the strange voice. Okay, pirate, it's your turn. All right. Ask the old pirate. Yarg. Here I go. Oh, he's really slow. Yo, what are you doing going over there? Wrong way, wrong way! Oh, oh my mistake! Uh, you better hurry! Oh boy, oh boy! But looks like he's always gonna make it, Mickey! He's gonna make it! He's gonna... Uh, he didn't make it! I guess we're not crossing this road today! Oh boy, oh boy! Uh, at least I could get some fishing done. <laughs> On the table today, we return to one of my more favorite series of toys, Disney Crossy Road Series 2. Now, these have been pretty tricky to find. I'm not really sure when the official release date was. It could have been way back early fall, but it wasn't until recently seeing these toys start to show up at Walmart more often. So I'm not sure if Disney and Moose is playing out the game, or if indeed we will see an avalanche of these start to fill up shelves. I for one would love to see more series, as a plentiful amount of movies have been added to the Disney Crazy Road app. So here is series two, we have a few four packs here, which I really didn't do the best job selecting from, I already see a few repeats, Horus, and we also have a few mystery minifigure boxes to open up. Let's get to work. The four packs are usually the better deal as you can go through the shelves and pick the three most favorite characters. Then that fourth figure is a mystery figure, and it's usually something pretty cool. I liked this pack because it had Nemo up in the top left corner. On the back of the box, your favorite Disney Crossy Road characters have hopped off the screen and into your hands. Awesome 8-bit mini figurines to get and collect. Chase down all your favorite characters including limited edition mini figurines. Hop to it and collect them all. One kind of unfortunate deal with Series 2 is that we're seeing a lot of repeats. Finding Dory and Pirates of the Caribbean were added into the series, but we're still drawing from Mickey and Friends, Big Hero 6, Toy Story, and The Lion King. However, this does give you that opportunity to catch some of those characters you missed from the first series. And I really had to see that Nemo fish. Let's open this pack up. And outside of the box with Horus Horse Collar, Nemo, and Shenzi. It's been a while since I've seen these hyenas. Is that Whoopi Goldberg's? Nemo is looking good. Look at that overproportioned fin on one side. Perfect. His little fin looks to be even smaller. Horus is looking silly as always. Nice to include him with some of the other Mickey and Friends figurines I have found. One of my most favorite parts of these minifigures is the display stands. They're really quite nice and shiny, so far they haven't yellowed at all, so that's good. And I'm guessing since Shenzi doesn't stand on a display stand, whatever we get in this mystery package is going to use that stand. So let's see what our first mystery figure is. We have the Secret Helmsman from Pirates of the Caribbean. A little extra creepy too for Disney, I don't know how this guy's going to hang out with the other characters. Oh, I don't like him one bit! Yeah, you guys might want to cower over on the side. So I would say that first pack was pretty fun. The reason I picked up this pack was for the Buzz Lightyear. Which I forgot I already found a Buzz Lightyear from Series 1. I'm not sure how I forgot that. But there's a couple cool characters from Pirates of the Caribbean up top, and I have my hopes up for a cool mystery figurine. And here we are with this interesting pack choice. Buzz Lightyear is a great figure, isn't he? Now we've got some weird things. We have James Borington from Pirates of the Caribbean, and we also have Will Turner. Both of these characters look pretty nice, 
but they're a little bit too serious for this game. I would have a lot more fun with the Mickey and Friends and the Big Hero 6 stuff first. I'm guessing we're getting another fish from Finding Dory as that looks like a good display stand for a fish. Let's find out. Oh, seriously? A Nemo? Out of the 11 other fish I could have pulled, I got another Nemo? Well, that's kind of depressing. I do want to say my Series 1 opening was lucky as ever, so I guess I'm getting the payback from that. One more three pack to look at. I think I chose this pack for the Slinky Dog, and of course that second Horus. And here we go with the Slinky Dog. A really nice classic toy addition to Disney Crossy Road. Might be one of the few minifigures that I would really beg for an action feature to be able to extend this center section. Wouldn't have been that hard, but I understand why they didn't. Slinky Dog will go well with the other Toy Story Disney Crossy Road figurines. Now we have Tia Dalma. Oh boy, there's something exciting the kids will race to the store for. And Horse Horse Collar again, everybody. <laughs> So again, I'm thinking I'm going to get another fish with this display stand. It would be pretty great comic gold if we got another Nemo, wouldn't you think? Let's see who we got. Wow! Was this unbelievably unexpected? I have pulled a limited edition Armored Baymax. I figured limited editions would be so rare we'd never see any, but there it is. This is so welcoming! I wonder if this display stand is for Slinky Dog. I think it's just kind of an extra to throw you off. I was able to get a regular Baymax from past series, so that's kind of cool. Now we've got a regular Baymax with a limited edition. And the limited editions also come with a little card. Congratulations! You have just found a limited edition Armored Baymax. 05157 out of 10,000, so almost split down the center. A little Disney Crossy Road foil card. How cool is that? Even the display stand has a little golden coin there for you. Very cool. I never, never thought I'd find one uh, or be that lucky. Looks like even his number is imprinted on the back there. So that's pretty fun. I'm all for limited edition figures as long as you get a pretty good chance at getting them. If there's only 10,000 of these, I'm not sure how well those odds are, but it's really cool to see. And it definitely enhanced the opening of this set. I wish I was a limited edition! Ah. So let's move on over to the Disney Crossy Road Mystery Mini Figurine Inside Boxes. These are pretty fun to open, but not as good of value as the 4-packs you could end up just pulling the same thing over and over again. Here's a fun find. It's the prison dog from Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm going to have to open my app again. I'm not sure if I found this guy yet. Prison dog has a set of keys hanging from his mouth and will obviously make a good companion to Slinky Dog, Pluto, and even Goofy. Oh, shucks. <laughs> Let's open another Series 2 Disney Crossy Road. Apparently this is the year of Buzz Lightyear. What year is it? Buzz Lightyear. Say that again? Buzz Lightyear. To infinity and beyond! I'm just glad I got that limited edition armored Baymax. Let's try another one. Yo ho ho and a bottle of cotton. I'm really gonna have to watch some of these movies over again. This one is a pretty fun one though. I like a pirate with a parrot on his shoulder. He'll be able to do some things. So strange that they went with Pirates of the Caribbean. I would really like to see Cars, The Nightmare Before Christmas, maybe Wreck-It Ralph. There's so many. Okay, let's open this one. Now we're talking it's a classic Dory. That'll enhance the Nemo figure quite a bit. The only thing I see problematic with Dory here is her display stand is really a tight fit. I was worried it was going to weaken her plastic a little bit. Going to have to look at that a little closer off camera. Good looking figure though. I like the yellow, how vibrant it is on her blue body. Classic Dory stare. Too bad I doubled up Nemo. It would have been fun to see another fish with her. Okay, two more to look at. 
and it's the classic auctioneer. Another character kids are going to race to the store for. Who did you get? Baymax. Who did you get? Pluto. What did you find? The auctioneer. Is that even appropriate? At least you can kind of sort of sub this guy as a pirate if you're playing pirate. That's one to remember. And the final figurine to end this madness. It's none other than the amazing Donald Duck. This would be the second Donald Duck I found. I found one way back in series one. I want to say he was in a four pack that I could see. But Donald Duck surely is one of the best minifigures you can find. And I noticed on the latest update of the Crossy Road app, we have DuckTales. Woohoo! And that would be another great line to see in toy form. I hope we do see those. And there are the many mini figurines I was lucky to pick up with the series 2. Seems like I scored well with Pirates of the Caribbean collecting a lot of those characters. Unfortunately, only two of the Finding Nemo. Those odds seem a little bit off, and I really didn't draw much from Mickey and Friends and Big Hero 6 and The Lion King or Toy Story. So maybe Series 2 is heavy on Finding Dory and Pirates of the Caribbean in the mystery packs, hopefully. That at least would soften the blow of some of these repeats. Whatever you find, this is a great fun silly series to a great fun silly app that is perfect for rainy days or playing when you're crossing the road. Actually, crossing the road. Just make sure to look up. That is Disney Crossy Road Series 2. I better get the rare one off the table before Maybelline does her thing. I thought Will Turner would have the win, but it turns out Prison Dog is good at not getting hit. Disney Crossy Road Series 2 appears on store shelves, I don't know, 2017. The four packs are a great deal at about $10. The single mystery boxes run about $3.99. If you enjoy crossing the road and then playing Disney Crossy Road, these mini figurines are a perfect play. Grab some Hot Wheels road tape that you see on the table, and you can recreate a perfect traffic scene. Just make sure to hire some crossing guards, because you wouldn't want to get hit. That's what I have to say about that. Hey, let me open one. Oh, it's another Buzz Lightyear. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Guys, I think I got another one. <laughs> oh boy, it's fighting me. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh no, I'm lost again. Oh man, hope someone can help me. I'll help you. Oh, look, a Minecraft tree. <laughs> <laughs>